Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. After we finished Malice in Wonderland, we got a new case. It's Tome Alone. You'll never guess the pun for that one. Duly suggests that it visits the library. You must have seen the strange star gathering over it. I don't remember what his voice was last time, but this is the detective voice now. Which honestly, I feel like would have fit better last time. Home alone. Woo and if we remember, the dark side was that other ethereal dimension. Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No. I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing bug building has nothing to do with why we're here. Ah, come on, detective. You're hardly gonna arrest the weather. The things you'll try to do to justify this department. Hmm. Let's get this over with. Dooley, you fool. I really think it's very important to point out that there is a uh, swirling mess above. I don't know what the heck you're on about. Squad car. How many cases do you solve, do you think, to get the car that doesn't leak in the rain? It keeps us fresh and sharp, even. Okay. These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, it was where the mayor kept a lion collection. Oh, right. That clears it up. So, I don't think that clears up anything. Uh, okay. So, the same thing, but the plaque. That's different. This is a library. What a helpful plaque. Honestly, straightforward, easy to understand. Fines for being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Doris, you're a sweetie, but pretty please. Can we come with some kind of arrangements? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one responsible for the storm. And you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? Like, what? I... It, woman, why are you so calm about this? Doris, explain yourself before you just start saying supernatural crap's happening. Doris, you're lovely, but you need to explain first. Uh, oh wait, we should probably talk to her before anything. Let's talk to Dooley. I thought you found owning books suspicious. It is. What kind of secret stuff can you, are you reading that you can't get from your local library? Maybe books are just like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Or maybe people like having their, whatever, books can have books too. Don't judge me. Germs, you really believe in anything Hollywood tells you. A little concerned. Uh, maybe you should read some Osmosis Jones, which has will make you the most germ-phobic person if you read that movie. Like, oh my god. From a certain angle, it looks like Dooley has crazy hair. <laughs> Don't, what, dreadlocks aren't crazy. They work on a lot of people. They definitely would not work on me. These brown nuts seem like they're making it make for what? These brown outs, br brown outs, seem like they'd make for frustrating reading conditions. I, is that a joke on blackouts? Since it's like brownish color. It, that one word screwed up that entire sentence for me. Silence. The silence, uh, sheesh. Yeah, silence the detectives. Is that your to-read pile? Oh, I've read all of those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. Smart lady. Okay, I want to talk to the smart lady. Books the Dooley Bar. He had rules to rave to. Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. And the law. What is it, and do we really need it? Hey, what happened to library reader privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take you give up on the law book? 
Not enough pictures. That's the only reason, not because you're a cop. Ugh. Did you at least disagree with the book, Dooley? What's that you're reading? Skylight, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. What, isn't that just a human? Of a what now? Reverse vampire, you can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where prom night, the prom's to take up, the clocks would fall, and now it's at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds interesting. What? It sounds awful, detective. <laughs> Dooley, read the room. Okay, what we said about ghosts. Place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual? Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. I feel like that's a kind of a reference to Ghostbusters. Knowing a library, if you've ever seen Ghostbusters 1, the library intro sequence was fan freaking tastic. And when they actually went to investigate it, of course, it was also fan freaking tastic. I haven't seen the newest one yet. I really need to. But the thing is, since we're in a library, I think we're going to have a lot of library references. And I don't think the last one had any references to Alice in Wonderland other than Alice, because the last title was Malice in Wonderland. So, I don't know. There got to be something in this one that has at least one reference to Home Alone. Because Alice is a reference, nonetheless, to Alice in Wonderland. He's chasing off the readers. You say it. Kid's to blame. He's the only way you're often enough, suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do or else I'll call up a pair of oddball priests and a questionable ghostbusting startup to come fix this. Okay. <laughs> Exorcism? Got that, Ghostbusters! If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Okay, Doris. Okay, Doris. Okay. You got a lot of sass in Doris, and you know, I like that. Calendar. Got this for Doris last time I had to get out of paying fees. I have to make up the ante this time. Oh, it's the guy light, yeah. She, oh my god, I just noticed. I was like, wave my mouse over this. I didn't even notice that that's a piece of tape and she taped her face over the lady. Even the lamp is flickering. I really just enjoy the access, wait. I really enjoy the access to secret areas. This job gets us staff only, not an hour watch. I mean, I guess I could have just continued that sentence. I just want to make sure I didn't get it completely wrong. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half or a lazy approximation of half. Same. I never know if I'm cutting or folding like directly in half until I, one, until I do it and I 100% know I did not do it correctly. But as long as you get an approximation, not bad. Officer Dooley Hotspot? Wait, why is his last name Hotspot? Or is that just a joke right now? I don't know. Office supplies. Nothing else I can see myself needing. The computer seems broken. It's not broken, it's hollow, so I can store more books in it. Dooley, what do you think computers are for? An old photocopier. Can't imagine this has much use. Oh, it does? You remember when you renew a card each year? Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Everyone's butt? Just mine, until I think of it. That's the price of working out, I guess. I mean, you got a nice butt, and you agree to it, so consent. Rules are red, ballots are blue, your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. That's a sweet rhyme. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. Which well, goes with their pockets. You know, they're in the evidence. Why do you always suggest robbing stuff in the different rooms, Dooley? I have a feeling this is gonna be a consistent thing with you, huh? Well, let's go to the elevator. An old elevator, where's the staircase? We have none, there was a fire, and ironically the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. Okay, that's awesome irony. Horror? This button for the fourth floor is missing. Tetrapho- Tetraphobia. Tetraphobia? Of the number four, it's quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. The fourth floor is there, just the button is missing. Oh, yeah, we're not in China. 
You have all the answers, don't you? Maybe somebody with tetraphobia maybe stole it? That helps you? I love how it just says, oh, because it's the horror section. What was my brain doing? I think it was just saying, oh, the horror room. Woo! -hoo! Button scissors. I get why they're called elevators when they're going up. But should they be called descenders when they're going down? I gotta go through this real quick because I, I... Tetraphobia. Oh, I was trying to remember the joke I was thinking of. And it really wasn't a joke. It was more of an observation. Uh, I guess... I don't know if they said it. But I guess the uh, dude in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 was Giorno. Uh, Golden Wind. He... Mista has tetraphobia because he believes the number is cursed. I don't know if they ever called it tetraphobia, but he does believe in the superstition, and I think it's an Asian superstition. I could be wrong, but I think that's why it's in a manga, that the number four is bad luck. And that's the whole joke with it. And, I mean, there is some bad luck moments in Golden Wind when he fires the fourth bullet. What odd leaves that plant has? That? That's just a dead tree where Doris tries her stockings. Oh. That probably kills it a little bit more with, like, you're putting stuff on the leaves. Don't blink! Yeah, don't don't make that reference. Those are... Those are creepy. Ugh. He was even creepier when you didn't encounter them in The Witcher. They don't hurt you, but it's... A disturbing reference, to be fair. Okay, uh... Don't blink! Oh, I can't even just read the plaque? Well, that sucks. Okay, well, let's go to uh, children's section. Hey, kid. What about this one? The words of Thor, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to cover. Oh, is that suitable for my eighth rank? I read a book about books for my eighth rank, and they're all about books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it, because I read all the books now, but boys and wizards and talking dog in there. Child. Do you not notice the floating book right there by your teddy? Well, that's not right. The trick? What magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic, it's... Nothing. He told me to shut up. You look familiar. Have I arrested you before? Yes, you have. Bad baby incites a riot. Kid in our garden, Kate sums the devil. Grumpy Chris hates to play. That scumbag. Learn to count to 107, the largest number known to science. I really don't think that's true. You guide to baby safe shots. You load two bullets and a blank. Russian roulette. Daddy's little disappointment. Oh no. Okay. The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Oh, can I move it then? Can, can, can I, can I, can I? A view master, I loved these as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can put it to good use. <laughs> it's time like this that I miss walking to the beat, the beat, the beat, not to the beat. Well, I can walk the beat to the beat and go while I'm walking down my beat. I know what a beat is. That's why I like, I got so confused. I didn't know how to, didn't know how to say that sentence very well. Is a cold draft coming for the vent. That can't be good for the kid's health. A, B, C, it's easy at four, five, six. What? What? I hope I get a pet robot someday. So many responsibilities feeding it, Robbie. It's barely teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want to be their good side, on their good side, when the inevitable happens. And they take over the world! I always loved trains and trams, not monorails, though. Thank you, everyone, just because they're up in the rare. Rare, rare. Well, your parents don't love you. Oh, my God. Whoever thought of these titles are... It's a great, great creative mind. And in very face financial ruin. Little and Big Poo saved the day. Maybe it's your fault? Oh, no. If you know, you know. Little Billy and the Crush dreams. Ba wait. I saw Baby's first hangover. I know that was what it said. Why your parents don't love you. 
Oh, wait. Let's just skip back to baby's first hangover. Yep. Had to confirm. Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I heard what people happen to people when they snitch because snitches get stitches and stitches aren't very good because they take a while to come out and sometimes they don't dissolve. Modern media is really making our job hard. Dang it. I'm gonna torture the information out of the kid now. Wow, I saw that. No, there's a chest board that. Yeah, there, 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 there. What a great game, eh? Yeah, funny looking drought pieces, though. Are you referencing a terrible board game? <gasps> Library card! How convenient. I expected to go through a series of semi logical puzzles to get this. Yay. Fantastic Obit. Drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. I have a feeling all these styles are gonna be great. Doctor Whom's thrilling adventures through the grammar and structure. Space hike. Both they go to the places safely explored by others. How to woo a Wookiee. Ooh, I need to grab that one. Mass defects. Uh, why is there a video game in here? They came from space. They were brains. Brains from space. Space brains. Blasters, 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 and other space weapons. Intergalactic ballistics for cats. Astro trolls. Okay. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger. Then I found out they had to go into space. No thanks, that's where aliens live. Looks like some of the rockets aluminum's coming off. That could be useful. We got some really good items so far. We got scissors, button, viewmaster, an old library card of one smug-faced Paul Conway and a metal strip. I wonder if I can combine any of it. Come on, Frank, you can do better than that. Okay, whatever, don't judge me. Sword and shield. If we live in the medieval times, we'd be living in the adventures of ye dark side bailiff, bailiff and his squire, Dooley. Why am I bailiff? My name's not bailiff, McQueen. Screw you. Glum tales of the sad venturer. Oh no, no, we have to, we have to read the rest of the books. The library of books. Dragon racism. The Witcher. Tales of an indecisive adventure. <laughs> if that's actually what Witcher is about, it'd be glorious. Fantastic geese and where to find them. Oh, I love that so much. Okay. Oh, a painting. Professor Theodore Library, inventive of the library. Nope, not a word of that is true. It's the dude on the... Oh, well, kind of looks similar to this dude. Because he has a mustache and a beard. Where's this room? Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Hello, my name is Raksha. I'm here to study the strange goings on. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff. Want me to share what you've found? Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Ugh, shoving back from forth from people is getting my mind a little jumbled. So, I mean, there's really nothing else to say. I'm going to take a hot second. Okay, let's keep going. We got a clock? Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. Who doesn't eat chalk in the 21st century? Most people. Fair point. I actually own an expo board because I enjoy writing on things, excuse me, where there'd be, I would have a chalkboard in my room if it wouldn't get everywhere and there wouldn't be chalk bits everywhere. That's why I prefer an expo board, of course. But I don't know, I just like old fashioned stuff. And I, yes, I would consider chalkboards old fashioned. So, ghost hunting, eh, detective? That's class. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of eerie mubba jubba going on in there. I accidentally gave her Dooley's voice. So you noticed then, I'm majoring in the occult at TLU. You can do that? I thought all that stuff was banned. Somebody had a catalog and ban it all, detective. Right. Doll fairy. Hush, hush. 
So what does one study have to do with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science, so I wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Ragja. From experience, I could tell you that the occult doesn't play, pay much. And I can't tell if it's Raxa or Roxa or Raja. Because I know people pronounce it like differently every time. And I know you'd say Ja with a J, but I've heard people say Ja like Jing. Like with an X. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Uh, you know what I mean. Her voice is kind of... I'm trying to, like, focus on getting it back. It's very weird. I'm the one that gave her that voice, and it's still weird. Officer Dooley! Do you have one brown coat you wear all the time, or a wardrobe full of the same style? I have a million brown coats. <gasps> Hobby books! DIY books? How to DIY yourself? I'm really good at DIY. I get my sister to do it for me. This one's called Building Mediocre Mediocre Mysteries by the Spooky Doorway Team. Whoever they are. I think that's the developers. DIY, because you're too broke to pay someone else to do it. <laughs> so your government is broken by C. Guevara. The Definitive Guide to Landscaping from Outside to Downstairs. Okay. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nethers sustainable. Things you can fill jam jaws with. Volume 3. Whittling dice out of larger dice? Detective, the inspectioning, investigative role-playing in the world of Darkseid. Oh. He's more referencing our own game. Hard wood and where to find it. <laughs> Didn't we already make that how that joke with Harry Potter, whatever it was called? Okay, uh, mannequin. Looks like he's jumping. You'd jump uh, too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. Yeah, but it looks like Mario. Mario. Wait a minute, these are prill doubts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets, rich enough that he can pay child artists for original works. Oh, <laughs> this guy. Jeez. Uh, I wouldn't pay for it. Wait. Why are these fake? We can't have kids painting over the books. That's true? Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Hey, we pretty much got all the items we needed. I think. Well, onward to the spooky room. It's the only place we can go right now. Yeah. Okay, filing cabinet. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? I'll file your brain. It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. Box of microfilm. It's radiating energy like Rex just said. I think that may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Looks like you need to figure out the password. Okay. Um. I guess. I. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Microphone. It's a square, big, round, dull situation. Uh, what if I cut it up? Ooh, look like I've destroyed some historical material. Yeah! Let's hope there's a point to this. Yes. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I did next a daily chop out of the Twin Lakes recent history. Spider moths, do it again. I don't know. What? Do it again sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak. Instead of having burnt down yet another stadium and being called the Spider Mods. Major statue cuts at City Library. Staff cuts. The statue cuts let you stay there. No statue cuts there. Staff, however, can leave. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I don't know it's old, but it seems unfair. It means very few people work here. Yeah, just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. 
tough times. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. But it doesn't go select start. I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. <laughs> no, you didn't say select start. It's fine. Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walk among us. I remember this kid. What the? Hello, who are you and how did you get here? I am that which can never be unseen. The use from your nightmares, the knower from the unknown. Right, this is not very helpful. He's Alistair Crowley. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay, then I'll bet. Tell me, O oh knower of the unknown, what's going on here? I, uh, don't rightly know. Ooh. Right. But I do know that the coward eats is protecting a hidden room. One that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others that lie within. The others. The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what? I don't even know how to explain this. Do not ask again. Uh... Secret room power within. Cool, bro. Oh, so I can walk around talking to... Yeah, talking to ghosts now. Praise her a moment of your time. Another one. Another? Yes, another spirit. Oh, oops. Again, I said that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley lurks awaiting a slip of my tongue. I need to find Crowley. Gail! You're not Crowley. Are you an author, too? I don't recognize you. I! I don't... I gotta do a country accent. Okay, I gotta get in the mindset. Let's do this country mindset. Hip, yeah, yo. Cold on the cob. Aye. But not like you yawn tariffs with your literary fiction. I wrote you some stuff like house wiring and how to do on plumbing. Things you can fix the elevator. With right gear, could I? I didn't do a button, mind. Here you go. What's all this for? Could you use this button for the fix the elevator? I can't, but I want to do Need some conductive to make it work. Metal strip. It should make the button conductive. And then I can make it gluey. Should call that plan B. This button plays the broken one in the elevator. Let me see, it'll do the job. Gives a few minutes to pop in place. Siak! Okay, wait. I gotta go see that kid and who's the ghost with him. Okay, wait. Things for fixing the, ele fixing the elevator, Gail. Happen to help. You were fun doing something useful, Gain. Thanks, Gail. You're awesome. I'm gonna go see the child. Uh, I think you to read this one. I read this one. Thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about the kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Oh. Um. Miss Blyton, you might want to take a look at your situation. I fear that I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters, the lot of them. The kid. No, he's charming. I mean, the others are cultists, whore writers, and DIY fanatics. Whores, the lot of them. Okay. Well, at least the kid's not evil. Oh, Pratchett. Oh, hey. Big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Pratchett. Okay. Adams. I read detective books wonderfully over the top. Oh, okay, so they're just literally authors. What about the first floor? I don't want to lose this because I feel like if I leave... Okay. Fine, fine. I felt like at some point, if I didn't visit all of them, I wouldn't have seen all of them. Oh, look. Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. There you go. Looks like you can get the roof through here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not go back into the store. Book cart. Collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like how to cook a dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads. Architecture of the Mind by Cerebellum. 
and MMO accountancy be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Hell yeah. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. At least I can name my cat something incredibly racist. Oh wait, no, it was Lovecraft? I don't remember. One of them named their cat something. Oh, it was Lovecraft. I think it was Lovecraft's cat. Yeah, I think it was Lovecraft's cat because I remember something about like reading the Call of Cthulhu or something and his cat was in it and it was not a good thing to read. Don't look it up. Um, let's put it on the screen here. This author confirmed racist cat name <laughs> only because they could not fathom the dread I conjure at you. You play uncommon cliches, your penny dreadfuls like Drew Horn and Bez Spooky Pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan, fraud, undead trickster. If you still feel that way, then why don't you put my hide, why, why did you hide my work? I am articulating just fine, thank you. Can I say, I do not have your book. You probably hit it because it was too scary for you. Gah! You're an infuriating man. I love Lovecraft stuff. I have an entire complete works of Lovecraft. He's being such a child. I'm clearly the great horror writer. I talk about the minds of a generation with my aesthetic horror. With your aesthetic rubbish. Hmm, bright I'll have you, mates. Come at me, you sickly twerp. Come on, stop it, you two, or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, I never. It was you and yo. I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. I'm way right here. And not a peep. What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish blighting woman. Why don't you go tell him that? He would not listen to me. He convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I cannot for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. Lemons for every meal. I kind of just jumped into it. Um, interesting. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's literally alphabetical. Everyone's guilty. From axes to zero oxygen to murderer's primer. He's behind you. Animal's allotment. Stephen Duke's the ankle biters. Bemoaners from beyond the grave. Alibi soup. Butler did it from okay so we're just gonna go through all the books so oh let's do this we're not gonna miss any of this sweet juicy content and plus I think it's actually really funny so it's not just content for you it's content for me and my brain the dead person murders galvanated cop did you kill them I'm coming to get you I'm coming to get you too. You were out last time. Very dark places. An illustrated guide. Compendium of inept deaths. Not the scariest sounding in books, are they? I think I might have had an accident. <laughs> what? The fest car killers. The followers. Erroneous castrations. The diary of Ele Evelyn Snokes. The girl who chokes. Everyone's guilty, yeah. Haunted place. They've gone to buy poison. Gasp! How they all died. Goodness me, he's dead. Harry Hamfist, the punch to death champion of 1934, a biography. Okay. It kills! Just quit. Straight story. A guide to journaling your own death. Okay. Yeah, just try that. I touched his face. A lot of these titles are just explanation, exclamations, huh? Jobs you're not good enough for. Okay. The kickboxing cult. The lackluster murders. Cannibal carnival. Late night train made me late life robber. Lemons for every meal. We're just going to speed run this because we are halfway through. <laughs> halfway. Oh. Murder. You have to, uh, okay, real quick, quick pause. You have to at least appreciate 
somebody who wrote all of these titles or like the team, which I assume it was all of them like collectively throwing in really funny ideas and hell, they could have even asked their family members because these are amazing and the fact that they put multiple in every single, they could have just one, done one for every single shelf and nobody would have questioned it, but they didn't. Ninja zombies and other terrible crossovers. Morals? No thanks. Never look at the fridge. Madman kills a person. No, don't do it. Nanny Nightmare. Map to murder. The Pain Giver. Places to die in. Places to not die in. The Aurorigami Massacres. The Pain Giver. The Quirky Killings. The Rash That Wouldn't Clear. Oh, that's terrifying. Quickly, hide. The Revenger. Quay 666. The Quirky Killings. Stab Fest 4. Or 6? It was 6. It was Stab Fest 6. My mistake. Everywhere. Snakes! Tomorrow the World Implodes. Scary Book Volume 4. The Trundling. Stab Fest 6 again. The Underwhelmer. Vivian's Hatchet. Vet's Revenge. Where's Waldo's body? Vanity Kills. The Underwhelmer. Okay. Last one. They yearn for blood. X marks the victim? Unzip the body bag. And in my pants. The yogurt vet drownings. Zesty recipes for evidence disposal. Okay, and that's all the horror titles. Oh, creepy bookshelf. That's one creepy looking bookshelf. Is there one a hell of an atmospheric fire hazard? The candles. Ooh, that was a I've never been up here before. Because the broken elevator? It's a scary up here. Well, wait, who has it? I gotta remind myself. Uh, Blighton Woman. Got it. I think she's the one with the kid. She was the one in Sultan. Um, let's check. Blighton, yeah. Excuse me, did you steal Love's Crafts book? And that Poe fellow wouldn't stop fighting over which one has more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes that it would stop their arguing. Seems just made things worse. Well, I shouldn't shan't give it back. Shan't! Until they stop the silly bickering. I just shan't! Blech. I want my men to stop these two fighting. That's not my concern. You want this book? You must stop the fight. It's gotta be a scarier book than theirs around here. Sure that would stop their bickering. Uh, let me look around for it. I missed this dialogue. Can you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghost? What nonsense are you filling his head with, detective? I see them, but they're not. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the most dreadfulest books ever written. Oh. Well, that's lovely. I guess let's check the horror section again. Because they were arguing and we need to find a scarier book. Why are you wearing a Viewmaster, detective? Oh, uh, it's part of a game I'm playing. The game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions, especially everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye. I met your friend, Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment that man. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. I just need something to do, something to read. Why not use that computer to go online? Two words, safe search. Oh, right, so maybe we can find you some kind of work around. Please, just stay here and don't do anything. Okay, we need a password. I need a password and I need a scary book. Ugh, so much to do and I cannot find anything. Okay, I can talk to Doris again. Uh, can I have the internet password, please? Give you access to all my juicy manuscripts. No chance. 
Taurus, I need that password for my investigation. I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized, so no. Why is the roof window locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons. Oh. Well, that actually makes sense. I'd like to borrow the book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? No, I'm too busy reading my book. Dooley, can I use your card? So it's fine, Tony. I wish you'd let me make a deal now, huh? I bet you... I have a library card. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Like this one, yes. Oh, good. But not this one. It's not yours. It's not even your face on it. Okay, so I had to talk to Roxa, and she said she'd help me get past the firewall for the password. I need to look up something. When is that? Best not to talk about it. Just hope it doesn't show up in the library's usage bill. Oh, because this guy's going to look up something. They're not great. That's the password. That's it. No, Crowley should be able to browse through his heart's content. I'll let him know. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You um, may not want to stick around for this. Right, I'll leave you to your business, so shut the door on your way out. Good eye sense, yes, the B size or focus as far the eyes cleared. Well, clear is maybe not the term I've used. Come again, sir? N never mind. Just please, don't, no. Don't go into that room. As you suggest. Now, what is this all about a hidden room? I'll show what I can. There's a place hidden behind the fourth section on the fourth floor. The source of the vent has make pollution afflicting the building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it out and fix this. Godspeed. Yeah, that do we? Yeah, what? Oh, yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? So, now that I can do that, maybe I can talk to them about it. Yo. 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 L section, L section, L section. The book Yeats mentioned is missing. I know you're a fan of Lovecraft, hmm? You're looking at the Lovecraft section. I'm a bit too godless for my tastes. Hmm, I wonder if the missing book's the one Blighton took. Uh, I can't rent out a book because I don't have a picture of myself. If I did, I would just cut it out and, like, paste it to it. What? Oh, come on. That was the answer? Put glue on it so that she couldn't tell whose name was on it? Or her face was on it? That's... I guess when all is in vain, you just try whatever. Uh, have that book now. Not with a sticky, no picture having card, you can't. So I do need it. <sighs> oh, the photocopier. I really don't want to put my face on here, but I really need a picture of myself. The things I do for this job. Okay, so you get a photocopy of your face, you put it on the library card. It's the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years of a cop. It's way too big for the... for it, but I don't think she can tell. Like to borrow the book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one. Oh, well then, here you go, Paul. I forgot her voice, I'm just kind of making it up. Paul, his name is... My name is Paul. Shut up. Like it says on the card, my name's... Paul, 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 la, 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 la. Trashy Nama. What if I give it to them? Hey. It is not. The most horrific novel I've ever written. It's not written by either you. Let me see that. Teenage girl, blah, 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 reverse vampire, blah, 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 blah love story. Sounds terrifying. My existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed. Agreed. Do you believe something so hideous exists? Could you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. 
I hope this poor chap doesn't know. Perfect. Okay, they're done arguing. Well, they're gone now. Back to finding the book that opens the lever, I guess. Okay, we're back. Now she can give me the book. Can I have the novel now? Good, I don't see why you want this thing. But I did promise. Yeah, a Lovecraft novel. I'll oh, return the kid's illusion, detective. You ruined it. Whatever. Return, ruined, same word. I, 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 I have it all. It's coming together. and I'm more focused on just figuring out the puzzle. Yes. Here goes nothing. It seemed to fit with the Curious clicking noise. Pull this and... <gasps> There's a hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about. Creepy door is a recurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? You got it in one detective, good job! Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. <laughs> what the... What is all this? Magic uh, Alistair Crowley's Guide to the Popular Wizard Game. The Gnostic's Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts. Rituals for Modern Rituals. These are all contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Okay, well, there's a lady. So, what are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to eldritch energies emitted from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. I even lit candles that think up the spook factor. Okay, Mary Shelley, great job. Normal Liberty Fair this. I got a skull! Periodic table of secret magic elements. The bumper catalog of magical components. This one's just squiggles. You can't really make anything useful out. Definitive guide to demon identification. Love in your coven. Occultism for nuns. The Necronominom. A cyclopedia and cookbook which by the way there is a necronomicon not necronomicon there is a uh, lovecraftian that's the word i was looking for esque cookbook you can buy and it is awesome i didn't buy it because i'm not a cookbook person but i did flip through it when i was at the bookstore and it looks fan freaking tastic if you're a, a cookbook kind of person look it up 101 ways to get ritual stains out of your carpets a brief history of time magic that's that's funny the art to pentagram drawing. Guide for sinking your coven with the moon. Okay. Suppose wiring. These loose wires didn't have run to the roof. Oh, interesting. So for like lightning. A copy of the ritual's caster or not. <laughs> it seems to be open in the summon spirit's page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess will sort itself out. Ow! It seems to be charged with this faulty wiring. Wherever it goes. What a strange thing to find here. Baseball cap. So some kid upstairs. Small hole, I don't fit. Maybe you could drop something down to see where it lands. Okay, well, I have a skull. I think I hit my job. And a spooky doorway. I already talked to Mary Shelley. Uh well I have a skull. I don't. I didn't think that would work at all. I guess we'll go talk to the librarian and figure that out, because the window's locked. I found your vault of contraband books. Impossible! It's hidden behind a complex locking mechanism. Well, I got it. Somebody did also. And they tampered with the books. Impossible! They must have found another way in. Nobody could crack that system. But I already... IMPOSSIBLE! Okay. Well, I have a skull. What do you have to say about this, then? Alas, poor Yorick! Don't get all cultured with me. What? No, Yorick was an intern here last summer. I wonder what happened to him. <gasps> I gotta find Yorick! Yorick, 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 Where are you, Yorick? Where are you, Yorick? Oh, wait, I can drop this in the crawl space, huh? I hope this works. Now to find out where it landed. Hopefully without having caused any damage. I thought when he said drop something down, I thought he meant, like, drop it from the roof and find it. Wait, where'd she go? Huh? Quit it. Oh, it's because I was... 
poke at her. Oh, hey. A stack of tween novels, unraveled a mummy mummy romance. Working ghoul, office temp by day, flesh eating grave dweller by night. Which witch, a Coventon's lev triangle. Coventus. 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 Coventus dingle old Barry. Hey! What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read! So, kid, what do you know about the other side of that vent? I. I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring and I found these neat new books, but the ones I read were scary and I ran off. But then the goats arrived and I liked them, because now we're friends. See, you meant no harm. Troublemaker, arrest him, breaking and entering. That's the baseball cap. Into your room of illegal books. Let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if we get rid of the ghosts and find them somewhere else to go once in a while. You join me in the Blood Wolves. Blood Wolves? The mayor stopped paying the dip 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 tax. So we have to change from scouts. You okay with that kid? Sure. That's great, but back to the desk at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building into that book. You need to get to the lightning cordon, doctor, on the roof here. Have this key. I almost said corridor. Dooley, we're going to the roof. It's raining outside. To the roof! Do, 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 fast. Running with the key. Here we go. I already ducked out of one of the rooms in this case. I don't want to play that card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. Hey, wiring. Okay. Scared of heights? No. Yes. Oh, that is definitely Ghostbuster-esque. Junction box. So what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible. Looks like the circuit's connecting the book downstairs to Ariel. I guess I should break that circuit and wire the air to the lightning rod. The power is somewhere to go. Okay, so this is going to be a fun little puzzle. I used to love these. I still kind of love these. Yeah! I didn't even mean to actually connect that. I was going to do a couple more rotations. I always solve those by mistake because I try rotating them more and then I realize I actually just led everything in the way I wanted. I don't know if anyone else has that problem-esque thing. I don't, I don't know if I would call it a problem specifically, but that kind of problem with those puzzles where it's just you unknowingly solve it and you don't know how you did it. Ouch, my hand. Look, the tech of the storm's dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close that book now. Down we go. Wait, Dooley, hey. That's good, that's good. quite a nice night. Okay, let's go back down. And in we go. And to the horror section. And into the spooky door. And get in the book. All the ghosts are vanishing. Nets case closed. Trunks filled, detective. They don't know why we had to take all those books. Dooley, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. We had an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me for having books. I don't sue the kid for entering the vaults. I go back to business sans haunting. Mm, you should also get that wiring fixed. Oh, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See, I can't miss the Dooley. See you there, Kevin. Okay, so this has been a long one. Doesn't help that we had to read out all those really funny titles. But I hope you enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed going through Tome Alone and continuing this little mini-series. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.